Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Muhammad Hazim bin Abdul Wahab, S52618. Today, I will be presenting my research about ethics of seeking knowledge from Islam perspective. Okay, as we can see on the slide, this is the content of review. Chapter 1 is for introduction. Chapter 2 is literature review. Chapter 3 is methodology. Chapter 4 is finding and discussion. And lastly, chapter 5 is the conclusion of this research. Here is the background of the study. So, what is culture? Culture is a complex whole which include knowledge, belief, art, moral, law, custom, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by men as a member of society. The conception and definition of culture then expand by including not only value, belief, symbol, but also language as an immaterial that defines a society, where material culture is where it includes all the society perspective objects such as tools and technology, clothing, eating utensils, and means of transportation. Culture is important because it provides economic, social benefit, improved learning, environmental issue, and social unity. Culture can also be understood and used as a resource for teaching and learning, where teachers teach students in school, thus there is an improvement in performance of the student. This is the problem segment of this research. The existence of intangible cultural heritage is much more fragile than tangible cultural heritage and it's bound to be lost or changed due to several factors such as the different of culture preference among the younger generation. Less attention from the youth as they become more disconnected from their traditional communities without any interest or access to this knowledge system and the contemporary way of thinking cannot adapt to traditional culture preferences and belief. Furthermore, the change in modern way of life has also left more significant impact in terms of loss, abandonment, extinction and destruction. Globalization has also become the main reason for the improvement of language, knowledge, know-how, custom, and idea for the society. As stated by King, globalization has modified the traditional belief system, disintegrate the traditional social fabric and norm by consumerism, which lead to deculturalization. An example of globalization invasion into the traditional domain is the disrespectful attitude of students toward the teacher. Compared to 30 years ago, the teacher have a special status among the community due to its responsibility not only in molding student personalities and educating them, but also responsibilities in the guiding and developing behavior and mentality of the individual and community. The significance of teacher role was highlighted by Imam al tamizi The world is cursed, so is everything in it is cursed. Except for the remembrance of Allah and what facilitated it, the scholar and the seeker of knowledge. As you can see in the slide, this is the misconduct cases in school in Malaysia from 2008 until 2012. The aim of this research is to study the ethics of seeking knowledge from Islamic perspective. There are three objectives. The first one is to explore the understanding of manners with teachers in Islam among students. The second one is to understand how manners with teachers being implemented. And the third one is to investigate what the student now this thing about manners with teachers. This is literature review on menace. So, what is menace? Based on pause, menace are personality which is the outward manifestation of one innate character and attitude toward life. While Firmage stated that in the context of behavior, adapt refer to refinement, good manners, moral decency, and humanness. Voyers agree that manners are closely related to etiquette, which refer to formally qualified standard of behavior. Abdullah al Gudnu al Mubarak also has said that we need more manners, albeit a little, than having mountain knowledge to show how important manners is. This is research methodology. For this research, qualitative approach have been used. The method used to collect data in this research is semi structured interview. For the sampling, this research used purposive sampling where 25 students from University of Malaysia Tengganu between the age of 20 to 26 years old have been interviewed through phone calls. The data generated have been analyzed using thematic analysis. Thematic analysis is descriptive presentation of qualitative data where it can take form in interview transcript collected from research participants or other identified texts that reflect experiential on this topic of this study. This is the finding and discussion for the research. So this is the main theme that I have list down. I have also list down the time it was mentioned and how many respondents mentioned it based on the slide. From the slide, this is the framework that I have come up with for this research. Theme of belief, 
answer research objective one, which is to explore the understanding of manners with teacher in Islam among students. From this research, 52% of the students believe that it is mandatory behavior to respect those who give knowledge. This is supported by Asfufa by saying manners are mandatory for children and as early stated that students will not be able to gain knowledge and take advantage of it. knowledge except by respecting knowledge as well as respecting and honor his teacher. This knowledge that responding gain from the teacher evokes a sense of respect and honor as well as behaving appropriately in front of them. The respondent stated that teacher held a noble position thus respecting the teacher more. Zulis Sturini stated that in Islam, the teacher is very important figure as Islam placed the position of educator as one level below the position of the prophet. In conclusion, the student understand the meaning of manners with teacher and the importance of the teacher in Islam perspective. The theme of age, parent, teacher and behavior answer research objective 2 which is to understand how manners with teacher being implemented. This research shows that respondents know about manners with teacher when they are in preschool which is at the age of 4 until 6 years old and primary school which is 7 until 12 years old. 64% of from the respondents stated that they start to know about manners with teacher when they are in preschool and the stress of the respondent they did in primary school. This year, Aditya Rahman stated that the best age for children to learn manners is at the age of 8 until 11 years old because at this age, they already can understand what people are saying. All the respondents stated that they learn manners with teacher from parents. 70% of the respondents were reminded by parents to be respectful to our teacher while 30% of the respondents have been taught from later on how to respect the teacher but all of these are not specific as what the teacher are taught in school. All the respondents stated that they also learn manners with teacher from the teacher. Niza, that stated that the teacher play a big role in performing tests and have a big responsibility in imparting the true knowledge and form to the student. All the respondents stated that the teacher teach them manner through pendidikan Islam and pendidikan CV. The manners that are being taught in can be classified into three sessions which is action, speech and talk. 60% of the respondents stated that they are being taught on about action while for speech on this 52% and lastly for talk only 28% the action that the respondents stated are greeting the teacher, smile, follow teacher order, do not ask, do the exercise given, focus on the class when teacher teaching, give a helping hand to the teacher, say thank you, ask permission first before asking a question, silent in class when the teacher is teaching and be prepared before setting the class. As for speech, respondent are taught to speak politely to the teacher by not yelling and talk softly with the teacher. For talk, respondent are taught to always have a good talk of the teacher. Always open to receive advice and reproof with an open head and love the teacher. Most of the action and speech and talk that the respondent stated are in line with what Abu Amin Al Ghali said in Bidayul Hidayah the beginning of guidance book on manners with teacher. In conclusion, the respondent know about manners with teacher either in preschool or primary school and mostly those in preschool have been taught by parents before they go to the preschool but not as clear as what the teacher taught. The team intention answer research objective 3 which is to investigate what not students or this think about manners with teacher. 86% of the respondents think that it is still relevant to practice manners with teacher at this age because manners is relevant forever. Teachers sacrifice a lot for their students. Students need teacher to learn. Religion teach manner. And without manner, generation will collapse. There are only 4% of the respondents that state it is not relevant because parents are preventing teachers from caning their children and preparing their children. Fadi and Kusoma state that manners with teachers are still relevant in the Islam teaching. This is in line with the finding. All the respondents that say that relevant are willing to pass down the knowledge of manners with teacher because without teacher, a person will not be successful. This is in line with what UNESCO state that surviving intelligible cultural heritage is not able not about the cultural manifestation itself, but rather the knowledge that is transmitted through it from generation to generation. In conclusion, even though not all respondents think that manners with teacher is relevant nowadays, but in the end, all the respondents will pass down this knowledge to the next generation and this will continue this practice to generation to come and will not disappear.
The conclusion of this research is that ethic of seeking knowledge from Islam perspective is important as Islam emphasizes manner as one of their basic teaching and one culture can influence a person's behavior. The cases of misconduct in school are getting higher and higher as the technology keep on improving and if not being curbed, will result in the doom of the country. From this research, we can know the understanding of the student on manners with teacher in Islam, hence research objective one is achieved. This research also helps us to understand how many will teacher being implemented. Thus, research two, research objective two have been achieved. And lastly, from this research, we can know what the student know this thing about manners with teacher. And thus, research objective three have been achieved. From all the answers that the respondent have given, it can be concluded that student understanding of what ethic, the ethic of seeking knowledge, how to behave when seeking knowledge with someone and the student have the intention to pass down this knowledge to the next generation so this knowledge will not disappear but if we are not very vigilant there are a chance that it will cause the country to fall as students are the future of the country thank you